Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Um, I have a process video for you. This is using the Marks & Company kit from Studio Calico. And this is the fourth layout that I made with this kit. And what I have there is a big 5x7 picture of uh, myself with a big group of women that, um, they're all military spouses and we were all in the same group when um, my husband and I were stationed in Tucson, which was just recently, we just moved about two months ago, so. Um, but I wanted to document them. That was actually at my going away dinner because those women were, are just amazing. They were 100% always there for you if you needed anything, willing to drop everything to come help you if you needed something. And um, I was the same for them. So we were a very, very supportive group. So I wanted to make sure I got them onto a scrapbook page. So I'm pretty much just kind of layering some supplies. I wanted to do a bunch of layering and uh, use up a few things. That is a really big doily, <laughs> but I love it. Um, I like that it adds a nice little feminine touch to it as well, since this is about um, a big group of women. So, um, and that piece of paper, coffee, there you go. Um, that piece of paper underneath the picture was from the kit um, that is from Tim and Beck. And it was just a big scrap that I had. And more coffee. This was a morning layout for me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to mount it on this teal cardstock. And that was just something that I had from my stash. And um, I just like the little the pop of blue. It's a pretty bold teal. So I didn't leave too much of a border. But it just adds a little bit of color there. So I'm going to hand stitch and... Um, Part of my head, I'm trying to make sure I get all the dots correct. <laughs> so I used that speech bubble, and instead of using the star inside of it, I used the word "hi," which is on, um, which is also on the stencil as well. I just, you know, uh, decided to put that instead of the the star. Um, so I'm going to stitch and stitch and stitch. Um, I guess I don't edit this part out. But it doesn't take very long. It's it's pretty uh, straightforward. Just stitch around and then you know do the eight, do the uh, word in the middle for high. And I use washi tape on the back to secure my string because I don't tie knots very well. And even if I did, um, I don't think they would stay. Like I probably wouldn't even get them right up close to the paper to probably be all loose. So I don't even bother. I just. I have my washi tape sitting there from the kit anyway, so I just grab a few pieces of that, and uh, that is what holds my washi tape, or holds my um, thread on the back of my layout there. And I'm using that thread up pretty well. Um, I, it came, the kit came with, uh, that stencil kit came with gray and brown, and um, I don't remember if by this time I had used all the gray or not. I might have. I might only have brown left. I'm trying to see. I might have a little bit of gray left, but um, if I do, it's not much because I use it up on um, my next layout. So I'm just stitching. And I had, for, I guess I had forgotten the eye for some reason because I was looking for the holes and I'm like, where are they? <laughs> Let me go ahead and add that back in there. And I am, I believe while I'm doing this one, I'm watching Criminal Minds um, because The Leftovers is over now, so I'm not watching that anymore. And I've been wanting to start Criminal Minds for a while. My parents watch it and really, really like it. And if my parents watch it and like it, then there's a good chance I will too. So um, it came on Netflix, so I got, I got really excited. I was like, yes, I can watch it now. It's on Netflix. I don't have to go searching and you know downloading or do anything like that. It's just right there. So, um, I have been watching Criminal Minds, and I'm going to start recording on my DVR the new season coming up, and uh, eventually I'll catch up, and then I can watch the newer season when I'm ready to. I'm still in the first season, though. Like, I, I don't even think I'm halfway through, because they're long seasons, so. <laughs> but I am enjoying it, so if there's any Criminal Mind fans out there, I'm, I'm on board now. So I'm going to do my journaling on this card, which is from the Amy Tangerine uh, Cut Apart paper that came in the kit. And um, just talking about how, 
how much I love these girls and how supportive they are. And I'm really going to miss them and definitely made some life lifelong friends in that group for sure. So I'm journaling on that and I'm going to put it in that vellum pocket and it's not really intended to be um, hidden necessarily. I don't necessarily want it hidden, but it just kind of mutes it a little bit. You can still read it perfectly through that vellum and there, there's also a heart on that card. So, um, you know, you can see through that as well. So I thought that was a nice little touch. And what I did was I just put some washi tape onto some white cardstock and punched out um, with my file tab punch. So it just looks like, you know, it's washi tape punched out, but it's on cardstock. So it's not completely see through. And then I just put the little extra part behind the picture there on the left hand side. And I'm doing the same thing and I'm going to punch out a couple of hearts. I think I only do one. Let's see if I do two. I might do two. Yeah, I do two. I just have to realign the washi up. Oh, I'm going to do three. Just kidding. <laughs> and I outlined uh, the entire journaling spot with that um, Dear Lizzie frame there and used those two resin roses. They're really thick, really, really detailed. Um, they are pretty thick. I don't normally reach for those types of things, but I went ahead and did it here anyway, because it was in the kit and I wanted to use them up, so. I'm just kind of placing a few things down here. Gonna use up some of those asterisks. And my alpha, um, I think I fuss with this a little bit. Um, yeah, I spelled amazing wrong. Luckily I caught it quickly. <laughs> I was like, really Sarah, come on. Um, I cut off the tail end of that Z because I'm going to put women underneath it and I didn't want the Z to interfere with um, that word. Like there was no way I was going to be able to work that. So um, I cut off the tail end of the Z so that women would fit underneath it and I didn't have a W so I just took two V's and stuck them together if you can see that. So <laughs> it works. It's fine. It still says women. You can tell. And I stamped Amazing Moment which is from the stamp set from the kit underneath that so it's uh, just a little accent there. And I'm going to add some enamel dots. And these are super glittery from Freckled Fawn um, enamel dots. And that is going to complete my page. I got some close ups coming for you here. Thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you again real soon. Bye.